Oops, everyone on social media is accusing Miss Nessa Barrett of copying Madison Beer. Let's play a game of Spot the Difference. Round one, round two. What the fuck? Loki, I'm not surprised everyone is calling Nessa out for this. We all know by now how Nessa Barrett isn't that quirky, shy TikToker we all used to see her as from the very beginning of TikTok. In fact, you guys, Nessa has come so far in her career at this point that people are now comparing her to Madison Beer. Yeah. How did we get here, you may ask? We need to first take it back to way back when because honestly, guys, this isn't the first time Nessa is getting backlash for an aesthetic. Huh? I'm pretty sure you guys remember how just a few months ago, Nessa Barrett decided to make the shift in her career into revealing her true style and come clean that she wasn't this quirky, shy TikToker that everyone was perceiving her as this whole entire time. After all the hate Nessa was getting for her past controversies, she decided she had nothing left to lose and this was when Nessa decided to just suddenly reveal in a few TikToks showing her actual style and who she actually was as a person this whole time. Which, not to mention, almost everyone, including Nessa's own fans, were left completely shocked with. Since Nessa's style before was completely different, and no one was really used to seeing Nessa like this. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up, you guys, is because Nessa claims that she's always had a difficult time accepting herself for who she is, and also expressing herself for who she actually is because of all the hate she's been getting on social media since the moment she started taking it seriously, which was shortly after she decided decided to dance to the Quran. But it wasn't, it's not like I changed, I just like fucking took the mask off. Like I, like, with like social media, like there's like just this thing of like playing a character. You have to be someone you're not and that's what happens when people go through controversies and get canceled for shit that they've done in the past because they act differently now, but that's just because they're not themselves. They're playing a character. I was just like fed up and I was like, I don't want to do this as a career. There's no point to hide who I am anymore. I think I kept myself in a very basic girl, um, style and lifestyle when I wasn't that and that's why I was just so unhappy for so long. And y'all, what was even more sad about Nessa opening up about her true character was that she claimed that she came from a small town at the height of her career and that she was already getting a ton of attention from her huge TikTok following and didn't have the confidence to reveal her actual identity at the time because she thought it would bring even more eyes on her, which she didn't want. When I started social media, um, I just like was never myself and I failed to be authentic because I was just like being someone that I thought other people wanted me to be. I also was still going to school at the time. So I feel like I still couldn't fully be myself because like if I truly was the person that I am now, which is 100% myself, um, I would get bullied and I already had to deal with shit because I was on social media. So I was kind of, you know, living in a small town in New Jersey and just didn't want to kind of stand out any more than I did. So I was someone that I wasn't, and that's why when I get comments sometimes that are like, oh, I miss the old Nessa, it kind of like hurts a little bit because I'm like, that really never was Nessa. Anyways, y'all, it's now been a few months since Nessa has finally been able to express herself for who she actually is. And y'all, she finally seems super happy about it. But despite the fact that Nessa has been loving her new style and opening up about it, people think she's out here changing her style again. But this time, trying to copy Madison Beer. So we all know how Nessa has really shifted her career more into the music industry rather than TikTok now, and it really shows how she now wants to be labeled as a professional musician now and not a TikToker. She even said herself in a recent live how she thinks becoming an influencer was a mistake and that she was really brought into this world to become a singer. However, y'all, we are now a few months into Nessa Barrett's music career and it looks like people are starting to realize that she's supposedly trying to thrive off of none other than Madison Beer's music career. Over these last few months, everyone on the internet has been pointing out how they think Nessa is copying Madison Beer's every move when it comes to music, since not only do their music videos look similar to each other, their actual singing style, but also some are even pointing out how Nessa is even going as far as copying Madison's actual clothing aesthetic. Whoa. 
Who's Miss Abera and why am I getting Madison Beer vibes? Isn't she that racist TikToker? I don't know, but her aesthetic looks like Madison's with her songs. No, because right when I saw Nessa's music video, I immediately thought of Madison Beer. Is Nessa copying Madison Beer? It's the music videos and her TikTok. Madison's boy shit slash Nessa's new post hasn't even announced the song, then Madison's selfish, Nessa's pain, Madison hearts like hell, Nessa's counting crimes. No need to worry, besties. Nessa is just in her Madison Beer era. And guys, if you thought Madison Beer was the only one Nessa was getting accused of copying, nope. Nessa was also getting called out for copying the music video style of an artist named Peach PRC. And y'all, the artist even made a video responding to all the accusations about this and guys she did not seem happy with nessa at all <laughs> Nessa herself though you guys hasn't really been paying much attention to the backlash and thousands of people calling her out for this because she even dropped another music video that people were comparing to yet another music video of Madison Pierce that they thought she was flat out copying. A lot of people have been calling Nessa out for her new music video, Counting Crimes, and comparing it to Madison Beers, and after this, y'all, one tweet even went viral, with many people agreeing how similar Nessa has been looking to Madison in terms of her music and style. A few weeks ago, Nessa went on live and was teasing the heck out of her single called Counting Crimes and seemed super proud of it and not giving a single care about all the backlash she was getting. It seems like you feel dumb me, so, um, Counting Crimes. Um, uh, Counting Crimes. <laughs> is it, um, uh, out now? <laughs> I suck it. like I'm gonna go. <laughs> Counting Crimes is out now. Go listen, stream it, watch it. Let's get it trending, bitch. She even went as far as explaining that the reason behind the song was simply just for girls who had gotten out of a toxic relationship. Um, and all of you bad biddies out there that are, this is, this filter is not it. And all of you, all of you bad out there that got out of a toxic relationship, this song's for you. Word up. Jam out to it in the car. Come on now. Come on, girls. Like, come on, girls. <laughs> Anyways, I definitely want what you guys think about people accusing Nessa Barrett of copying Madison Beer. Do you guys think she's intentionally copying her success or do you guys think she's just inspired by her? Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I love you all so much and as always I'll see you all in the next video.